the other thing that I wanted to ask because um, I, I expect it is can it has this kind of mechanism, but in proof of stake coins like Divi, um, the um, the difficulty will basically adapt, right? Like it will adapt, it will right. try to stay uh, close to a minute, and so I would assume it's the same on Bitcoin. So it if is. there were yeah. if there were less people or not more improvement of hardware, basically the Bitcoin difficulty would adapt to that. Right? It is. It is. It's a little yeah. bit longer and further out. I think ours is, which is why you see such a dynamic difference. Ours is per block. I think theirs is per every two weeks. Uh, okay. Somebody could correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I I don't remember everything I've learned over the years, but I think it's every two weeks. Um, so. Yeah, it, it will positively, in, so if you have less miners, then the difficulty will adjust. It'll make it profitable for those miners. In fact, it'll end up being more profitable because there's less competition. There's, And what I mean by that is there's less people in the pool competing with you. So it doesn't automatically mean you'll earn more, but it means you'll have more opportunity and it'll be geared, the difficulty will be geared based upon the amount of participants that are there. The end result is, is if there's only so many slices of pizza available in one day, if there's less people trying to buy or less people trying to take a piece, if there's eight pieces in a slice and you have 12 people, well, somebody's not getting some today. But if you end up where you have seven, somebody might get an extra one. So the less, less participants means more opportunity for those who are still working yep. towards the goal of securing the chain.